So on this part three of this course video of a six-story building, which is a hotel building, the next thing we'll do on this part three is to perform the colon superimpose. Because on the part two, we performed the colon placement, we will have to choose the choice of our columns, as you can see them here, having a spacing of over 7.6 meters and some of them 6.6 meters and so on and so forth. So on this case now, now that we have made our column point justification on the ground floor, now we want to see how the column points will behave on the first floor, on other floors, because we have other floors here, because this is a six-story building that we are designing for on this particular project. So on this now, we will then have to do what? Copy the column points on this ground floor and superimpose them on the first floor second floor, third floor, fourth floor, and fifth floor to look out for how they'll behave. Meanwhile, don't forget that these two columns here are going to terminate on the on the first floor slab, if you can look at the um, elevation here. These two columns are for fancy columns just to give beauty to the entrance. So it is not really a major structural column. So we are going to, we are using only 12 columns, as you can see it here, to carry this structure which you are seeing here. So with that, to now perform a superimpose of your column to other floors of your building, do what? You have to do what? Come here, click or highlight one of the columns, right click and then select what? Select what? Similar. It will pick all the columns that is under, sorry, come again here, click on the column itself, right click and do what? Select similar. It will pick all the columns. You can see that all the columns alone. And then once you have done that now, the next thing to do is to look out for a particular reference point so that is same the same to other floors and how do you know a good reference point because you, if you pick from the edges on the first floor or second floor there might be a cantilever which is not a good reference point a reference point is a point that is the same to all the stories to all, to all the floors so with that to locate a perfect reference point is to look at for the lift area look at around the lift area and pick a reference point or look at that, or look around the staircase area and pick a reference point why did i suggest or give you that you must pick the staircase area or the lift area is because a lift point does not change through any floors they must be the same to transfer people or goods and services from the from from floor to floor and also staircase points doesn't change because it is meant to be what sequential so with that staircase area and the lift area are the best place to choose a reference point so we have different points around the staircase you have to locate a particular point and choose as your reference point for me in this case i'll be choosing this point as my reference point so i'll come now type cp to copy all these columns now come here and pick this reference point here this point here I'll pick it here. Now, now, now that I've picked this point now, this is my reference point I'm going to pick to superimpose this column on all other floors. I'll start from the first floor, which I'm seeing here right now. This, this, this is the ground floor that we, we have already worked on. So I'll start from the first floor, so which is um, here. I'll come here right now and click here to paste that. So we have pasted this column now. I can see that on the first floor. Again, come again that same point without shifting. Because once you shift, then you have messed yourself up. Because you see that the columns will not be aligning again. So make sure you pick the exact point. I'll come again now. Come again here and pick this again around this um, place here. Don't be in a haste on doing that. Again, that, that, that's the final one. I'm not going to do a what escape. So on escaping that now, you cannot see that out. Let me bring, let me bring in this, move this one to this other side. We will have the ground floor plan. Keep it here so this now becomes the ground floor plan all right let me bring that this 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 some um, columns out again so i'll click on this right click select similar and then click on what bring to surface that is fine so so with this now or again um click on this right click now um select similar come here bring above bring above 
and I'll click above this. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. So we can now see that this now, this is the ground floor, all right? And this is the first floor. So let's now look at how the column, and you can see that the columns here on the ground floor are not causing any obstruction. When I mean, what I mean by obstruction is that most times a column causing obstruction can come out and and then if you see column behaving like this, for example, um, this is a, an office and you're seeing column around this place, knowing that this is meant to be a seat area for either for the um, for one, for one of the staffs. This is cause this is already causing an obstruction. It's it's a blunder. So with this, you cannot allow this to happen. So you have to look out for a way to hide it. So, but in this case, we don't have any of this issue. Okay, that is fine. So that is what they call what I mean by obstruction. So on this now, the ground floor columns are okay. So with the now, let's now remove these other columns first because they are not um, following us to the upper floors. Because if you look at the elevation here, they are stopping at the first floor slab which they are meant to stop directly on this ground floor because this column now leads to um from the ground floor which is down to the first floor slab here so it will stop directly here so we have to take it off from other other floors okay that is fine so this goes off here this also goes off um here so e enter or delete again here too it goes off here too this goes and again this um this um goes here e enter that is fine so with this now we have then um let's now look at from the first floor now how the columns are behaving then i can see that there's a little cantilever because you can see that the column on this point here is directly at the edge of the building but on coming to the first floor you can see that after the column there is still a small there is still wall extending right on this other side here we have this let's now confirm if truly this ground floor and first floor is not the same length let's now, let's now measure let, let's measure from ends of the building to the end of this ground floor here we have what we have um 13.978 meters okay that is fine and then we'll come again now from from the from the first floor end point here to the other end point now what do we have we have 16 meters then you can see that the difference now will be around there let's see let's see the difference now let's see the difference difference now becomes um from here to here what do we have we have 2.2 .2. so 2.2 now becomes the difference that means that there's a cantilever on the first floor and this takes us from the first floor second floor third floor you can see that it has the same thing so you can see that they are the same so let, let's now look at let, let, let me just first of all take off all this right now i'll take this off and then look at how the cantilever is appearing on the section or on the elevation so you can see the elevation this is the back elevation you 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 won't see it there because you will see it when when you view it from from the side you can see, you can see it from the side so let so you can see it from the side now correct this is it you cannot see how this is the cantilever of that 2.2 so this is the cantilever we are, we, are, we, are, we are going to design for. This beam will carry the whole load from the first floor up to the sixth floor. I'll show you the techniques on how to design that, okay? That is fine. Again, the same thing happens here too. So we have cantilever on both sides of the building, okay? On the left and on the right, okay? That is fine. So we are going to also design that too, but that's fine. So we then move on now to... Um, now, let's now look at again. So you can now see that we have now discovered that this first floor has a cantilever of what of of um 2.2 .2 from this column point here okay that is fine so with that now we then begin in all the columns here are still appearing well no one is causing obstruction so this first floor is okay we then move to the second floor same thing is happening here no one is causing obstruction okay that is fine now on our on our, on our other course video we explained and there was a situation where um, some columns are we are causing obstruction. So we, you learn how to um, arrange those columns on that particular course video, which is on our site. Okay, that is fine. So we come again here, and then this everything here is also okay. So you can see that all our columns now are okay. So with this now, we have done a superimpose, and we have verified and justified that the column points that we have on the ground floor is is um is what symmetrical to other floors up to the sixth um floor which so that that means that from the column from the ground floor here 
up to the sixth floor asymmetrical and we are using only 12 numbers of column to carry this structure you are seeing here okay and we, and we have also um we, we have also terminated the the column that was coming from the ground floor on this first floor because you can see that from the ground floor now we have the columns on this two area but on, the, on our here we have to do what to remove it because it, this is just showing the trace that, that there's a column below right this is a trace line so there's a column below okay so our column is only um headed around here now don't look at this circular um stuff here as a column this is a wood or a baluster or a cladding or something which you can see on the on the elevation here you can see that this is just a fancy okay it's, it's, it's not a structural uh, member or element okay that's fine so with this now we have now performed a superimpose of this build now once you have done this now once you have done this the next thing not to do is to do what is to export this particular structural framing this, this uh, ground floor to your design software be it start pro etap and product structure or any other one that 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 accepts dsl file for you to import it and then begin your framing or your modeling for your structure in this case we are using product 2026 which is a shared license if you want that you can email um, send, us, send us a message via whatsapp or email and then we, we will guide on that although you have to put it, it, it is not for free then if you have other versions you can see use it to do what practice okay that is fine so with that now let's now move on to the part four which is now our what structural modeling the part four we base on the structural modeling where we are going to use the product 226 here which you have here to perform the structural modeling this, this was a recent file or design that, that, that we did for um for 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 a client but i think this was a, a savers this was a savers of as a as of part and um, and um, two because there, there are many changes that, that the client was 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 uh, making why why we are still doing the design so this, this was a um this was the um version i think um version two i think yeah uh revision two of the structure you can see how the structure is it has a basement and also the, there's a pool this is a pool inside here you can, you can see a pool here there's a pool around this side okay that is fine and then this is the basement which is to be used for a car park for car park you can see the inside of that building there okay that is fine so you can see that and then the this other one here so um this that side has a basement and here doesn't have a basement and you can also, also see the staircase here in 2026 only um is only one that um they can do what model and design a staircase okay other versions doesn't do it okay that's fine so with that now let's now go back to what we have for today um which is um the modeling of the six story building we are uh, we are about to design which is for the what for the part four of this our uh, course video that is fine so see you on the part four which is the structural modeling of this structure bye for now